These planes may never be built, but they are some of the most creative new aircraft designs we have seen from Boeing, Airbus and more. What are they? What will they be like in reality? And will they ever actually fly? Let's put our thinking caps on and jump in. Hey, it's Nick here from FNE. If you love this video, then subscribe for more just like it every week. Let's go. First on this list is the Flying V, a project under development at the DLF University of Technology in the Netherlands in partnership with KLM and Airbus. At first, you might think that this is yet another blended wing design that we have seen from both Boeing and Airbus, but without the middle of the plane. This design choice will save around 20% more fuel burn to the nearest other fuel efficient plane. This concept aircraft flies passengers inside the wings as opposed to the wings becoming part of the plane itself. It has a capacity for 314 passengers seated across business and first class. There are effectively two passenger cabins, one down each leg of the V shape. Each cabin is 6.1 meters wide that can have economy passengers in a twin aisle, 10 seat configuration. But what does it look like on the inside? We actually covered that in our previous video on aircraft cabins, but it could have everything from bunk beds to hanging swinging chairs. So far, the scale mock-up of the plane has been tested reaching up to speeds of 80 kilometers per hour. While the flying is more stable than expected, the landing still poses some problems as the angle of attack needs to be so high. Much like the Concorde, because of this, the plane needs an extra long front landing gear. Speaking of insane Airbus projects, we have the Bird of Prey concept plane that uses biomimicry technology to bring birds advantages to modern aviation design. The propeller plane has four turboprops to power the aircraft for regional routes and each feather can be individually modified to change the aerodynamics while in flight, much like a hawk. And just like birds, it doesn't have a traditional vertical tail. The regional aircraft concept would carry as many as 80 passengers up to 1,500 kilometers and burn 30 to 50% less fuel than today's equivalent planes. It is unlikely that this aircraft will ever actually be built, but the technology used in its creation could very well make its way to other Airbus aircraft of the future. We also need to mention the Otto Aviation Serrera 500L bullet plane that has eight times less fuel burn than any other jet aircraft. Seating only six passengers, this plane can travel at 460 miles per hour for more than 4,000 nautical miles and costs just $328 to run per hour. The chief scientist at Otto Aviation said that their goal was to create a private aircraft that would allow for direct flights between any city in the US at speeds and a cost comparable to commercial air travel. So far, it has flown 31 successful test flights with aerodynamic efficiency proven in 2019, bolstering its declaration that the Celera 500L is the most fuel efficient, commercially viable aircraft in existence. Auto Aviation has completed its first funding rounds and those successful test flights, but they still need to begin the FAA certification process and find a location for manufacturing and creating that initial order book. The firm has no plans to upscale the design from a simple business aircraft, but the technology certainly will influence other future designs to come. Next up, we have the Embraer Pulse aircraft, an executive jet that looks more like Batman owns it than Bruce Wayne. The electric aircraft concept has an interchangeable remote control pod that offers near 360 degree visibility thanks to its use of transparent aluminum alloys and interactive panels that allow text and other smartphone-like connectivity, 
and post-flight information. Upon landing, the pod can be transferred to an autonomous ground car to continue in urban environments, whilst the flying frame returns with another pod. This concept is still many years away, but highlights how the firm sees aviation and ground transport starting to merge. Evation's Alice, a nine-seater aircraft designed for short-haul hops, powered by three electric engines, that has also been dubbed the Tesla of the Sky. The plane has a range of 1,000 kilometers with a backup reserve of 45 minutes, making it perfect for smaller areas suited for short flights, such as remote islands and executive transport. There will be a charge point for the plane to recharge at each destination at a rate of 30 minutes for one hour of flight time. The plane will have a price of $3 million and cost $200 US dollars per hour to operate, which compares to $600 to $1,000 per hour for existing aircraft of a similar purchase price. Perfect for a weekend getaway. So far, the firm has confirmed 150 tentative orders, but requires another 500 million US in funding to get the aircraft into full production. The first test flight is scheduled to be sometime this or early next year. Airbus is also working on a blended wing concept called the Maverick. So far, only a scale model has flown to prove the design in flight. However, the demonstrator's potential to deliver real environmental performance benefits has significant interest. Approximately 20% less fuel burn compared to current single aisle models with the same engines. The spacious configuration also opens up the design space, enabling the possible integration of various other types of propulsion systems. In addition, the noise is expected to be significantly reduced thanks to a shielded engine that is mounted above the central body. And if commercialized, a Maverick-inspired aircraft could significantly improve the passenger experience. Blended wing body design provides an exceptionally comfortable cabin layout, enabling passengers to benefit from additional legroom and larger aisles for more personal comfort. We can't help but notice that Boeing also did a blended wing concept plane many years earlier than Airbus with the Boeing X-48C. Boeing tested this concept with over 100 test flights in partnership with NASA as part of a research program into future next-generation aircraft. Since this project, Boeing and NASA have announced further plans to develop a larger blended wing body demonstrator capable of transonic flight. Speaking of Boeing, they have also come up with a fantastical aircraft concept called the Boeing Truss Brace Wing Aircraft. The huge braced wing greatly reduces drag and it has more lift, allowing the design to operate on shorter runways and with alternative engines such as electric. Boeing has taken this design and proposed to build an experimental X-plane with NASA called the Sugar Vault. Sugar stands for Subsonic Ultra Green Aircraft Research and the Vault part of the Sugar Vault name suggests that it would at least be partly powered by electricity. The Sugar Vault would use two hybrid turbofans that burn conventional jet fuel when taking off and then switch to electric motors to power the engines while flying. Sugar Vault would have the emissions around 70% lower than the average airliner today and noise pollution would also be lower than other planes. Many of these aircraft should have their own videos, but they're also still in the concept stage and are so far from the market that anything could change. The future of flight may be bold and even terrifying, but it's for sure exciting and likely that we will see many of these innovations filtered down to future aircraft design in subtle ways. Which aircraft concept was your favorite? Let us know down in the comments below, and if you enjoyed watching this video, then consider subscribing for more aviation and other videos. Thank you again so much for watching.